let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find area using double integration. We have a very simple formula. Area is equal to double integration dA. There is no any function. Simply we have to solve that double integration over S. So the main part of this example is region. Let us find a region here. What we have, the region is bounded by y is equal to 9 minus x square and uh, what we have y is equal to x square plus 1. Let us draw this curve first. After that, we will find a region bounded by these two curves. So we have, let me write, we have what we have y is equal to 9 minus x square. Power of y is 1, power of x is 2. So it represents a parabola. Power of y is 1, so that's why the parabola is symmetric about y-axis, okay. So let me write this equation of parabola in its standard form, okay. So I will shift x square on this side, that is x square is equal to 9 minus y, that is x square is equal to, I am taking minus in outside, y minus 9, that is x minus 0 square is equal to minus y minus 9. So I wrote this equation in its standard form, okay. So let me write. It is a parabola, it is a parabola symmetric about, symmetric about negative y-axis and vertex at, okay, I will mention vertex at x minus 0 is there, so the x coordinate of vertex is 0, y minus 9 is there, so that's why I wrote 9, so vertex at 0 comma 9. So it, it is symmetric about negative y-axis. It means actually the parabola opens in a downward direction. Y has a power 1 symmetric about y-axis having minus sign. So that's why it opens in downward direction. Let me draw the parabola here. So vertex at 0, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 0, 9 is here. Get it? So vertex at 0, 9 parabola will be like this. So 101% that parabola will cut x-axis okay at two different points so let us find a point of intersection first then we can easily draw the parabola the technique is very simple i will put simply y is equal to zero here since we have to find point of intersection with with x-axis whose equation is y is equal to zero so that's why i'm putting y is equal to zero if i put y is equal to zero we will have x square is equal to nine that means x is equal to plus minus three getting so that means this parabola cuts x-axis at 3 that means 3 comma 0 and here minus 3 comma 0 so let me draw the parabola I am drawing a rough sketch of parabola okay so parabola will be like this okay so we have got one parabola let us go further after that what we have we have a second equation let me write it here okay we have some space so y, y is equal to x square plus 1 I am writing it in the standard form that is y minus 1 is equal to x square that means x minus 0 square right so like this see power of y is 1 power of x is 2 so that means it is a parabola again power of y is 1 that means parabola is symmetric about y axis and y has plus sign so that's why parabola is symmetric about positive y axis let me write that thing a parabola it is actually a parabola symmetric about parabola symmetric about positive y-axis and vertex at let us find a vertex x minus 0 that means x coordinate of vertex is 0 y minus 1 so 0 comma 1 this point we have where we have this point 0 comma 1 here 0 comma 1 so the parabola is symmetric about positive y-axis getting that means parabola will open in upward direction so I'm drawing a rough sketch of parabola, okay, it is a rough sketch of parabola, it will be like this. So these two parabolas, okay, intersect each other as two distinct points. So now we are interested to find the points of intersection. Let me mention here, what is the equation of this one? It is y is equal to, let me mention 9 minus x square and equation of this parabola is y is equal to x square plus 1. Okay, I wrote the equations of both parabolas. Now we have to find points of intersection. So what we do to find points of intersection, we put one equation in second equation. So simple thing we have to do. So let me mention here to find, to find points of intersection, points of intersection, intersection, we put, we put, I'm going to put one equation, y is equal to 9 minus x square in second equation in y is equal to x square plus 1. See, I am going to solve it 
further but there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay so if you put one equation in second equation we will have 9 minus x square okay at a place of y i am putting uh, sorry at a place of y i am putting 9 minus x square here so we have this one let us simplify it further let us shift constants on that side okay and shifting x square on this side so minus 2x square and 1 minus 9 minus it minus 2 we will cancel from both sides so therefore x square is equal to 4 so therefore x is equal to plus minus 2 by taking square root of both sides so we are interested to find values of y also for let us find for x is equal to 2 and for x is equal to minus 2 for both values of x we will find values of y right you can put the values of x in either in this equation or that equation doesn't matter we will have the same values if i put x is equal to 2 here y is equal to 5 so the first point we have got point is 2 comma 5 and if i put x is equal to minus 2 here but minus 2 square is 4 again so that's why we will have y is equal to 5 again so the point is minus 2 comma 5 so minus 2 uh, sorry 2 comma 5 will be here and minus 2 comma 5 will be here as i told you these are rough sketches okay so approximately 2 and 5 we have got there right after that we have to consider region of integration region of integration is bounded by these two parabolas so obviously anyone can say this is the region of integration let me show it here in a diagram okay it is very important to show the region of integration since most of the times we will have uh, very complicated regions so in that case we need to mention what is our region of integration so this is my region of integration right uh, after that we have to consider a strip so we will have two options either we can consider a strip parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis for this case it is better to consider a strip parallel to y axis so i am considering a strip like this here okay so this is my strip i have considered a strip parallel to y axis so i should mention it here huh? uh, consider a strip consider a strip parallel to y axis okay so you know that when we have a strip parallel to y axis we write y varies from y is equal to, to y is equal to and then we write x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to let me mention here therefore y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to and x varies from x varies from x is equal to 2 x is equal to we have very simple funda bounded below bounded above left to right okay in this way we will find all these limits strip is bounded below by some part of this parable okay whose equation is y is equal to x square plus 1 so i should mention y is equal to x square plus 1 right x square plus 1 strip is bounded above by part of this parabola whose equation is y is equal to 9 minus x square I should mention y is equal to 9 minus x square. After that, the strip will move from left to right. That strip has to move parallel to y axis and it has to cover each and every point of region of integration. So for that, our strip should start at this point where the x coordinate is minus 2. Okay, It should start at this point. It will move like this. Here the x coordinate is minus 2 strip slowly, slowly will move in this way and it will cover entire region so that it should go up to this point where the x coordinate is 2 so in this way we got the limits of x minus 2 to 2 so let us find area integration okay as i told you earlier there is no any function simply we have to consider da da means either dx dy or dy dx as per our strip here our strip is parallel to y axis so that's why i should write here dy dx since strip is parallel to y axis so inner integration with respect to y, outer integration with respect to x. What are the limits of y? Limits of y are x square plus 1 to 9 minus x square. What are limits of x? Minus 2 to 2. So simply we have to solve this integration and by solving it we will have answer. There is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it first then we will go further. So we have this integration and simply we have to solve it. Okay. So let us integrate with respect to y first minus 2 to 2 so integration of dy is y so y we have x square plus 1 and 9 minus x square dx see we have to put upper limit lower limit let us put upper limit 
9 minus x square. If I put lower limit, all sign will get changed. So x square minus 1 dx. Let us simplify it further. Integration minus 2 to 2. 9 minus 1, 8 minus 2x square dx. Now we have to integrate with respect to x. Integration of 8, 8 is constant. Integration will be 8x. 2 is constant. Integration of x square is x cubed by 3 with limits minus 2 to 2. First, I will put upper limit 2. So we will have 16 minus here uh, 2 cube 8 into 2 16 by 3 minus I will put minus 2. So here we will have minus 16 minus minus 2 cube is minus 8 minus 8 into 2 minus 16 minus minus plus 16 by 3. So let us solve brackets 16 minus 16 by 3. If you solve brackets sign will get changed minus plus 16 minus 16 by 3. So 16 plus 16 32 minus 16 by 3 minus 16 by 3 32 by 3. 32 we can take common 1 minus 1 by 3. So 32 we will have this is cross after cross multiplying 2 by 3 that means 64 by 3 square units. We should mention square units there getting since it is an area no. So I should mention and units are not mentioned. So I am considering it is square units. Okay, so example is over, make a screenshot of it. After that, we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.